Observe its streamlined hood, its V-shaped radiator, its thrilling lines that suggest approval. And there's the new Ford Victoria. And here's the convertible coupe. Next we have the Phaeton. And the two-door sedan. There's the Roadster. And last, the four-door sedan. This result, the new Ford V8. There have been exhaustive laboratory tests. Engineers have labored over every part of the car. Just as important are the road tests such as these. For after the builder has finished his task, then the practical manufacturer insists that the car shall prove what it can do, and there isn't a doubt that this car can do everything that the most optimistic can claim for it. At last, Henry Ford is satisfied. 